All right, I just picked up this thing on uh, Amazon. It was really cheap, and it was listed as an automatic knot tire. Uh, of course, there's nothing automatic about it. There's, it's not automatic, but it does help out a lot if you're looking for a particular. If you like to use a particular type of knot, uh, it does help out. If you're looking to tie this type of knot, which uh, this is a snelled hook, so if you want to snell your own hooks, that kind of thing, or if that's the knot that you want to use, it does help out with that quite a bit. Because if you got big fat fingers, clumsy fingers like I do, uh, it's kind of hard to tie stuff, especially on smaller hooks. You take your hook, you set your hook in here. This thing acts like a vise. You clamp it down with the thumb screw on there. Uh, take your uh, line. Run the line. You don't actually have to run your line through the eyelet. I just prefer to. Uh, there are some uh, types of hooks out there, like Chinese hooks and stuff, Japanese hooks, that don't even have eyelets on them. Uh, tighten that down a little bit more because the hook's coming loose. But anyway, uh, you run it through the eyelet like that, and then I hook it over. You hook it over these two uh, pins there. Hook it over there, get you a little bit of slack into it. You need a little bit more than that. Uh, you make sure the pins are all the way down, like that. This thing's all the way down. Uh, you hook the line over the pins, bring it up over here, and uh, twirl. Start twirling it. Uh, this is why I actually uh, put the line through the eyelet, because it makes it. it Keeps it from getting tangled up so much. Uh, wrap that up like seven or eight times, as many times as you want, whatever's happening. And then, when you've got it wrapped up as much as you want, twist it around like that, you hook it around that first peg, the longer one, and hook it inside there, and then you push it back out. When you push this down, push it through, uh, it pulls this, it le releases this loop and pulls the loose end of the line down inside of it and then you get your the side of the line that goes to your rod and you pull that up and tighten it up a little bit you don't have to tighten it all the way I did and then uh, loosen up your hook and uh, since it the the loose since the uh, loose end of the line is still hooked around that peg uh, use that to pull it through the rest of the way so it comes through the knot and yeah, there you go, it's done. Uh, just pull it, tighten it up some. And there you go. I didn't loop it around as many times as most people normally would. But uh, using these small hooks and stuff like this, it makes it a lot easier. So then you just, you know, trim off your excess there. But you got to make sure that you pull the, the loop with the excess line through instead of uh, leaving it in, because then when you try to tighten it, it just unto does the whole knot. You pull it all the way through, and the knot tightens down, and you're good to go. Just, uh, there you go. It's a good knot. Uh, now, this was really, really cheap. I want to say I spent like a dollar on it, or something like that. And uh, it didn't come with any instructions. Of course not, when you pay buy something so cheap. There's no instructions. Uh, so that's one reason I did this video because I'm sure a lot of people are buying these and if you haven't seen these but you like to use this type of knot I'll put the link down in the description that it's pretty cool it unscrews here and it's got some uh, uh, needles there that help you tie other kinds of knots um, this is the only knot I could figure out how to tie with it I'm sure there's there's other knots in there I mean there's got to be a reason there's a big hole right here uh, I don't know what other knots you could tie with it this is the only one I could figure out if you know any other knots you can tie with it you know let me know uh, post post a comment make a video or something leave it in the comments uh, yeah thanks for watching